I think many of you already realized long before I did that a CPU cooler being reviewed today offers one of the best value for money. This is none other than the Arctic Freezer 36, today in its ARGB version. I believe this air cooler offers unbelievably good cooling performance at a very competitive price. Currently it goes for somewhere around 50 to 60 US dollars depending on where you buy, whereas the black version without any lighting usually goes for roughly 50 dollars. However, I want to dampen your hopes and expectations somewhat because the Freezer 36 unfortunately can't fully tame every CPU out there. I'm primarily looking at the toasty, hard to cool Intel Core i9 13900K with which I put this cooler through its paces. Still, I very much welcome the direction Arctic is heading with the Freezer 36. You'll soon see for yourselves why and what I mean by that. Included in the packaging is the following, the heatsink itself, two 120mm fans, some thermal paste, and last but not least, mounting hardware for both AMD and Intel CPUs, including the so-called contact frame for Intel CPUs. A manual is not included, but it's available online. First of all, I'm giving praise for the exceptionally high build quality of the heatsink and the overall appealing aesthetics. I always find black coating on air coolers quite appealing. I particularly like the heatsink's fins here. Apparently, some optimizations were made here so that a push-pull configuration does actually yield more cooling performance. Many other models often run into issues like turbulence, which is rather counterproductive in regards to cooling. Included are two of Arctic's in-house P12 PWM PST fans featuring ARGB lighting. The build quality of these fans is certainly commendable. And I'm not the only one with that opinion. What might stand out to some are these screws with a gap in between them that are already in place. These are in fact special fan screws that click into place on the heatsink. The fans are attached this way. And it's a really rock solid mounting solution as well as a fast and elegant one at that, eliminating the need for fan clips. I also find it great that this is not a proprietary solution as the screws can be screwed in the same way on pretty much any fan of any other brand. That deserves a round of applause. The included fans connect via 4-pin PWM and can further be daisy-chained. The same applies to the standard 5-volt 3-pin ARGB lighting. As a matter of fact, I love the super elegant and sleek aluminum top cover with that Arctic logo on top, very subtle. The fans operate at a specified speed range of 200 to 2000 RPM, but can also turn off completely once the PWM signal is set below 5%. So you could configure yourselves semi-passive cooling as long as the CPU doesn't output too much heat when idling. The Freezer 36 is actually a rather compact air cooler. It also doesn't weigh much. It features four heat pipes, each with a diameter of 6mm. This is a direct touch copper base. The cooler supports all common recent CPU sockets such as AM5 and AM4, as well as LJ1851 and 1700. These specifications certainly look promising overall. Now the installation onto both my AMD and Intel test systems went effortlessly. As already mentioned, a contact frame is used for Intel. This requires you to remove Intel's ILM, which shouldn't be too difficult even for beginners. There's no issues with any memory clearance since the cooler is generally quite compact. But it's time to put its performance to the test. First, as always, with the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X, followed by the Intel Core i9 13900K running at its 253 watt power limit. The tests were conducted with the test systems displayed on screen right now. Noise levels. We are off to a great start. I measured 47 decibels for the Freezer 36. That's with the entire system, of course. The cooler joins in on a list of quieter models, and that's at max fan speed temperatures at max fan speed with the AMD 3800X. Here the Freezer 36 proves to be a true performance monster. While the tests with that particular CPU are no longer that relevant, it is still pretty clear that the Freezer 36 is ideally suited for CPUs that generate a moderate amount of heat. 
meaning it easily keeps up with even more expensive air coolers and isn't far behind certain AIO liquid coolers. Unfortunately, things can't go on like this when the CPU's heat output simply becomes too much to handle. Temperatures at max fan speed with the Intel 13900K. Under heavy Prime95 load, the Freezer 36 ARGB still performs well. While it does reach a maximum of 101 degrees Celsius, it manages an average of 91 degrees, narrowly avoiding thermal throttling. It's interesting that it's not far behind more powerful air coolers. Compared to a Be Quiet Pure Rock 3, today's Freezer 36 provides significantly better cooling performance. Under Cinebench 2024 load, the Arctic cooler shows more of what it's capable of, placing itself one degree ahead of a Noctua NHD15S. Here too, the Be Quiet Pure Rock 3 clearly gets outperformed. In fact, it's already gotten to the point where the Freezer 36 can compete with the Dark Rock Pro 5 and Elite models. However, it still doesn't come with the necessary headroom in terms of cooling surface. Temperatures at a fixed 40 decibels. In this test, all cooling solutions are set and limited to run at an exact noise level of 40 decibels. This is where the previously mentioned weakness of the Freezer 36's smaller cooling surface becomes apparent. Suddenly, the aforementioned larger air coolers show what they're made of, while more compact coolers such as the Pure Rock 3 and today's Freezer 36 now cause the CPU to thermal throttle meaning the CPU clock speed is already being reduced to keep temperatures in check. The achieved values in this Cinebench 2024 run tend to look a little better, but don't be fooled by that because here too, the CPU already needs to be throttled. Still a significantly better result than with the Pure Rock 3 by Be Quiet. It's obvious the Freezer 36 and similar compact air coolers don't come with enough cooling surface to deal with the hottest CPUs out there. So to compensate, you'll have to increase the fan speed. Nonetheless, a very respectable result given the price of this cooler. Conclusion While the Arctic Freezer 36 ARGB isn't entirely capable of taming the toasty i9-13900K, especially not at lower fan speeds, I'm by no means disappointed. In fact, one can speak of truly impressive results. Neither the compactness nor the price of this air cooler should be ignored. CPUs that aren't as power hungry and don't emit excessive heat can be cooled by a Freezer 36 with ease. This was clearly evident in the test with the Ryzen 7 3800X. To me, the Arctic Freezer 36 ARGB is undoubtedly one of the very best within its price range, which is why I can definitely recommend this air cooler. I think it's great that we get two fans out of the box. Furthermore, we are dealing with incredibly good build quality here. Would you personally consider the Freezer 36 the king of budget air coolers? And would you pick up the ARGB version of it or a cheaper, non-illuminated one to save costs? If you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate a like, but I guess I could also handle a dislike. With that in mind, thank you all for watching and until the next one.